everybody, this is Saucy Mouth, and today I'm going to show you how to make the perfect Valentine's Day for you or for your sweetheart. I'm going to show you how to make fondue at home, which is super easy, simple, and it's kind of sexy. And also I'm going to show you how to make a version of what I like to call a bellini with some champagne and some fruit. So I can't wait to show you today. Let's get started. Alright, so to get started today, we're going to need a fondue set. Now I have a little simple one which is very nice and it works very well. So to get started, we're going to get the chocolate started so it can start melting while we make our bellinis. Um, you're going to need a little candle tea light and just, this is how my fondue set is. Yours may be a little different, but I'm going to set mine up here. For the chocolate okay. I'm going to use today for the fondue, I want it to be simple and easy. So I'm using just the pre-made chocolate that's at the grocery store, and you can find it in the baking aisle. And this is just the quick and simple, you can microwave it in actually this container. So if you don't have a fondue set, um, you can keep it in this and put it in the microwave and follow the directions. But I'm putting the chocolate chips, and they're little wafers like this, in, and we're just going to let them melt because the fondue set will melt them all. So while we're waiting, I'm going to come over here. And actually, one other thing I like to put in mind is I like to put a little bit of Nutella in because I like that hazelnut taste. So I'm just going to put that in. Oops. Won't go. There. Right. So to get started for the Bellinis, we are going to need, I have just my small food processor over here. Actually, I moved this out of the way so you can see. The food processor right here, and I'm going to make mine a strawberry bellini. Now, usually a bellini, the traditional bellini, is a peach that you can use in puree and um, put some sugar in, puree it, put it at the bottom, and add some champagne or sparkling wine on top. Well, today I'm adding strawberries, just a couple, and then some sugar. And I'm probably using about a tablespoon of sugar, maybe just a little more. And then I'm going to add in just some orange zest, just to give it an extra added flavor. I'm going to put the top on and I'm going to pulse it for a couple minutes. We want this to become a puree. So our puree is ready. And now the next step is we need to open our champagne bottle. Let's see if I can do this. Oh, there it goes. Now, if you want, you can go with a more expensive champagne and pop the cork and make it this big extravagant thing. But, so, I have the champagne and then I have my champagne flutes right here. And I'm going to take the puree mix, pull it out here. I'm actually going to need a spoon because I'm going to scoop this out. And probably about just a teaspoon or a tablespoon just to your like and we only want it a little bit up because we're going to add in the champagne and there is a lot of sugar remember and the strawberries in here to make it sweet so and I only put about I think I put four strawberries in with um, a tablespoon of sugar so and that's just to make two of these all right perfect so we have them here. So you just want maybe an inch up high in the champagne glass. And you're just going to pour the champagne in. Ah. And it's going to overflow. Well, I don't mind. But you just want to be careful. And this is kind of a slow process but it's well worth the wait. So our bellinis are ready to be served and just to garnish them, I'm gonna take a strawberry and just cut it down the middle and place it on the side like that. Now I like to keep the stem on so the green is shown 
Um, it just makes it look more fun to me, but you can always take that off and add it there. And there you go, you have your Bellinis. Now you can make that with the peach puree. You can try all different kinds of purees if you'd like, but I wanted to go with the strawberry, so let's take a taste. Oh, so great. That strawberry and that sugar really help out the champagne to make it a little more sweet, and it's really nice. I'm going to set these right here, and we'll get move on over to our fondue. I'm going to check on it here and just see how we're heating up. Oh, it looks beautiful. So to get started for our fondue today, I have an array of fruit, and I have um, marshmallows, big ones, and I have a vegetable, which is a jalapeno. And I know you think, well, Tara, this is crazy, a jalapeno, but trust me, you should try it. They're super cheap to purchase. Just get like two of them so you can try them, but they're really good, I promise you, to try with the fondue. I also have, over here, I have some finely chopped up almonds that I use. You can chop up whatever nuts that you want to do, and you can have people roll um, their fondue in the nuts afterwards or sprinkle it on top and it makes it so much fun. So to get started, I'm gonna start off with a banana and I'm gonna put it in here and you just wanna give it like the little twist motion and just kinda of wait for any excess uh, chocolate to fall off. Mm. That is so wonderful. Now remember at the beginning, I put in the Nutella and that Nutella I can taste it just a tablespoon of it goes a long way that rich hazelnut taste and the Nutella makes this so wonderful and even more rich tasting it's so great so I'm going to move on to the jalapeno because I know you're all wondering about that so I'm put it in here also another rule for fondue if you're having it with guests you never want to double dip and you also when you have it on the pitchfork I like to call it a pitchfork it looks like a little one you all you want to get the portion off with your teeth and you don't want your mouth or anything to touch this because think about it other people are sharing this pot melting pot with you all right let's go in for the jalapeno mmm I know you guys think I'm crazy, but that heat and the jalapeno and that crispiness and the chocolate is excellent. I can't describe it any more than that, but it's really fantastic, and I think that you should try it out. All right, next let's move to the marshmallow. So I'll get my little mini pitchfork. I'll dip it in here. It's also said to play a game with this, that if the woman drops any of her food in the fondue, she has to give the person next to her a kiss. So that may be a little fun game that you can play for Valentine's Day with your sweetheart. So I'm just going to sprinkle some of the almonds that I chopped up on this. Mmm. Mmm. That marshmallow is so good in the chocolate. It is excellent. Next what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the strawberry. And I know this is going to be good because I love chocolate covered strawberries. Okay. Fantastic. The best thing about fondue is you the possibilities are endless. You can use whatever fruit, vegetable, or you can use cookies and pretzels and dip them. It is really up to you and to make it such a wonderful thing, you can personalize it yourself. Try to think of new different ways of things you can dip in chocolate. So until next time, 
I really hope you have a wonderful Valentine's Day with you and your sweetheart. Try out my fondue and the bellinis because these are excellent and it's super simple for you if you um, are actually on a budget or if you just want to have a fun stay in Valentine's Day. This is something that I really recommend and hope you try. Check out my website at www.saucymouth.com. You can find me on Twitter and you can find me on Facebook. I really hope you try this. Enjoy and happy Valentine's Day. Thanks.